Hey guys, George Me Young here, and I'm here to give you a guide on how to find all, all the Fallen Striders uh, in the 2014 uh, Strider game. Uh, in, in addition to some uh, in-game lore, uh, each of these will also unlock an alternate, alternate costume uh, for uh, Strider Hiryu. Uh, collecting all these will also uh, unlock the Remember the Fallen achievement. And now I ordered this uh, guide uh, in my recommended uh, order that you should uh, obtain uh, each costume as uh, as if you were playing through the game normally but if there's a specific costume uh, that you uh, that you're missing and you just want to jump to uh, just turn turn annotations on and just uh, click on uh, uh, one of the, one of the corresponding links to jump uh, right to that uh, spot in the video uh, without further ado uh, let's uh, uh, get on with the guide now the first uh, one we're picking up is uh, Roga and he's in the industry area uh, area uh, in the carbon charging area uh, I'm showing you on the map uh, where it is. Uh, this is right after uh, you 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 obtained uh, option A, uh, the saucer. Uh, in fact, you'll you'll need you'll need that in order to uh, uh, obtain this. So uh, just you have to make your way upward uh, through this floor floor up top here, and make your way over to the left uh, where this where you find a switch. Uh, use option A to activate it, and uh, this will uh, trigger a crane to lower itself and um, pluck the fallen strider out of the lava. So now it's just a simple matter of a. Uh, Make your way back down and over to the left in order to pick that up. And there we go, uh, this is the information for uh, Strider Roga. Gonna show you it on the... Uh, show you in the menu, give you a little preview. Now the second strider we'll be going for is uh, Hiyo, uh, he's in processing uh, in the lower black market. Uh, this is right after uh, you, you've obtained the kunai. Uh, now, now make note of this uh, save room right here because um, this one's uh, easy to screw up. Uh, screw up. Uh, so if you mess up, uh, just uh, go back to the title screen and uh, reload your save. Uh, now the fallen strider is uh, in, in this nook uh, in, the, in the bottom right corner of the screen there, uh, but there's a uh, that floor uh, below us uh, will break uh, as soon as we step on it. So what you want to do is uh, jump and then uh, jump immediately as soon as you touch the floor to jump off it and uh, get into that nook uh, before you uh, fall through it. Uh, you can also try to uh, uh, time a, a double jump uh, right before uh, you, you uh, land on the floor and get yourself into that, that nook. But uh, Again, if you, if, you, if you screw that up, just uh, reload your save and uh, you'll be back in that save room to uh, try again. Uh, now the third third strider uh, we'll be uh, going for is uh, Oga. Uh, he's in the research uh, facility. Uh, this is right after uh, you've attained uh, option B, uh, the Panther. And right there, I just used uh, the first uh, Panther run location. I'll show you on the map uh, where it dropped me off. And uh, now you need to make your way uh, back over to the vertical uh, assembly line and uh, make your way back down back down to the bottom again. Uh, this is an area you've uh, already uh, been through uh, previously. So uh, just um, make your way through this um, back area here, uh, and then uh, you, sh you should uh, find yourself back in the vertical assembly line. Just so now, just make your way uh, past the lasers uh, back to the bottom of uh, this area and uh, drop down to the left corner here. Uh, now there was a door uh, that was uh, locked here um, beforehand uh, that that prevented you from uh, entering the into the room uh, to your left. Uh, but once you obtain the uh, option B, the door will, the door will unlock, and now you can proceed into it. And here uh, you find a vertical shaft with a bunch of catapults in it. Uh, these will launch you uh, through the shafts, and uh, <laughs> right in the middle of the shaft is uh, the fallen strider we're looking for. So just uh, ju jump, jump into it, and you'll just pick it up uh, on your way through it. It'll uh, spit you out here, and then uh, we'll just uh, take a look at the costume here. So now this is the point of the game uh, where they want you to backtrack to Cossack City in order to obtain the Ultra Cold Plasma. Um, so we're going to use this opportunity to pick up a Fallen Strider that uh, we missed the first time around. Uh, this is in uh, the historical zone. Right now I'm showing you uh, where you need to drop down in order to um, make your way uh, towards uh, where the Strider is located. So just uh, drop down here and then uh, use the downward strike in order to get through that floor there. 
just uh, make your way through this uh, th through this area here. It's pretty straightforward, and uh, head head up uh, head up here, and then uh, uh, there's a there's a collectible uh, right above here. Uh, just uh, go uh, just head down from here, and uh, you'll you'll find yourself uh, in this um, hidden area here with a bunch of uh, electrical barriers. Now uh, you could try to time a double jump in order to get through these, but ideally you you, do, you want to wait until you have the plasma catapult in order to get through those uh, easy. And then uh, in this in the room at the end of the hall is a uh, uh, Strider Kuga, <laughs> and in addition there's a large health caster uh, up right above that uh, in case you're uh, look, looking for those also. Now this is right after you've uh, attained the uh, the ultra cold uh, cipher. Uh, we're going to use we're going to go ahead and backtrack uh, from uh, where we got got the got the ultra cold uh, cipher uh, over to the residential uh, district. Uh, if you don't remember, this is where you uh, fought uh, Nang Pu and Pei Pu, and uh, just make your way uh, up up to that area that I showed you on the map and launch yourself with that uh, launcher there, and the fallen strider is uh, hanging in the air right there. I'll drop back to the ground and then I'll go show you uh, uh, what it looks like. Now we're going to backtrack uh, even further now. Uh, just make your way over to uh, industry. Uh, this is uh, for uh, those of uh, you who are who were following the video and uh, picked up uh, Raiga in the previous uh, part and. Uh, Make your way over to the uh, construction zone. Now the fallen strider is on this uh, flowing platform, uh, hanging in the air there. And in order to reach it, you need the ultra cold uh, cipher and um, preferably uh, the kunai uh, upgrade in order to reach these uh, enemies here and just hop over and uh, hop over the platform and pick up the the, the fallen strider uh, on it. And I'm gonna show you a little preview here. Now the next rider we're going for is uh, Shinden. Uh, he's located in the Cossack outskirts. Um, for those that don't remember, that's the very first area of the game. Now in order to get back to the outskirts, I'm showing you uh, the map of Cossack City right now, and uh, specifically uh, this uh, safe room right here on the west side of the city. Uh, you need to make your way over to the safe room and pass the cowboy door, and uh, on the other side will be a panther run that will take you back to the outskirts. As you see, we're now in the Cossack outskirts. Now I'm going to show you on the map uh, where the Fallen Strider is located. Uh, it's, he's in this, it's in this uh, small room uh, that's blocked up by two uh, blue doors. Uh, in order to get past those uh, doors, you need the Ultra Cold Cypher. So once you have the Cypher, just uh, make your way over to the left and down that floor. Just uh, enter the room and uh, inside is uh, Shinden. Just uh, give you a little preview here. Fun fact: uh, these are the uh, these are Hiryu's original colors uh, from uh, the original uh, Strider arcade game. And now the next Strider we're going for is uh, Koja. Uh, he's back in uh, research. Uh, ideally, you, you want to uh, go for this uh, on your second visit here uh, after you've uh, attained the. Uh, Ultra Cold Cipher, and right now I'm showing you uh, the the spot in the clone chamber where you need to, need to start in order to reach him. So just uh, make your way through that floor and down that uh, breakable uh, floor with a downward strike. Try to get past these past these enemies here. Now you're going to be uh, make your way past that cowpul door, and you're going to be this, in this room with, the, with a giant brain. Imagine. Now just a little to the left of that uh, collectible uh, is a. Uh, there's a fully floor you can pa pass through. Uh, you, you can't see it on, on screen, but you can see it on the mini map. There's an area below it. So just slide, slide through here, and you'll be in this next room here. 
And uh, inside it is uh, the next Wall Strider. Uh, again, uh, just give me a little preview, uh, showing that I picked up the costume. Uh, lighting was a little weird in that room, so, uh, it's not a very good preview, uh, sorry about that. Now, uh, Strider Hoenn is, uh, located, uh, in the, under in the underground area, uh, in, uh, refuse processing. Uh, so right now I'll show you, uh, the room uh, where you fought your rank and, uh, obtained a magnetic cipher, which you'll, uh, need to obtain this. Uh, just uh, make your way uh, back uh, over to the, this room right here and uh, continue back to the right uh, in order to backtrack uh, through some areas uh, you were in uh, previously. Make your way back to this uh, safe room that I'll show you on the map here. Give you a larger overview. Now you need to make your way over to the right over to this uh, small room uh, past that uh, purple door. So just uh, make your way over to the right here. Uh, try to get past these uh, enemies and uh, back up the shaft. Uh, do some uh, small cuts here in order to speed this up. So just uh, make your way uh, up uh, through that purple door and uh, inside uh, is the uh, Fallen Strider. And again you need the Magnetic Cypher uh, that you just uh, you should have just attained uh, in order to get that. Uh, next we'll, we'll be getting uh, Strider He and uh, you need to backtrack over to the military ring uh, in the perimeter of the wall. Although it's not really outside at the wall itself, uh, it's actually inside the complex. Uh, and right now I'm showing you um, where you need, you need to go uh, within the complex in order to get to the, the Strider. It's, it's, not, it's in a small room uh, that's uh, not marked on the map right now. So just uh, make, use the magnetic cipher to get past uh, that purple door there. Uh, Make your way to towards the right, uh, past another set of, uh, doors. Make your way, uh, past these enemies, uh, drop down here. And, uh, eventually I'm gonna make my way over to the left, past one more door, and inside this small room, uh, is the Fallen Strider. Show you there on the map and uh, going back to the menu to show it off. Alright, uh, this is the final strider for my guide. Uh, this is uh, Jenge. Uh, he's back in the military headquarters uh, at the mor mortar pool. Uh, you, you need the ultra cold cipher in order to get into the, get into the room uh, where he's at. Uh, you could you could do this uh, any time uh, after you've gone to Cipher, but uh, I recommend uh, you wait until uh, you are ready to uh, assault the uh, Balrog, and uh, that's because uh, you have to come back to the military headquarters to reach it. But uh, before, of course, before you head up, uh, just uh, make your way over to the right uh, to that save room, and uh, just continue uh, heading right. You'll be uh, in this large area. Just uh, continue right uh, past these enemies. Uh, just uh, make your way upward, uh, up along this uh, right wall, get past that doorway, and uh, inside is uh, Fallen Strider Jenge. Now, you, if you've been following my guy, you should now have uh, all, all 11 uh, Fallen Striders, and uh, at that moment you should have uh, unlocked the uh, Remember the Fallen achievement. Anyway guys, uh, that was the video. Uh, I hope it uh, helped, you, helped you guys out. Uh, check out my channel for more videos and uh, thanks for watching.